Hello everyone. This video is about formatting block quotations. As a reminder, a block quote is any quote that is four lines long or longer. In the case of my example here, I have a pretty sizable quote. Instead of being formatted like a one to two, three line quotation, we want to actually offset it from the rest of the paragraph. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the very beginning, I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to come to the very end of the quote, and I'm going to hit enter again. Now, it's still not quite right because now it looks like we have three paragraphs instead of one paragraph with a block quotation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this quote and I'm going to make sure it's flush against the margin. And I'm going to highlight the whole quote so that I can hit tab so that the whole thing is flush against the one half inch margin. Now, because this signals to the reader that this is a block quote when it's indented like this, I actually have to take away the quotation marks. I know that sounds wrong, but I promise it's correct. And it's a little thing, but I would take my period and put it at the end of that sentence instead of after the citation. This is the only time that that happens. And we're almost done, because the other thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that this is, once again, one paragraph and not now two. So we're going to do that by erasing that indent so that this signals that this is one whole paragraph where in, in which this sentence here is analyzing this quotation. And then if I start to type out new sentences, I can go back to regular indenting and that signals the start of a brand new paragraph. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know and bye.